time to be wandering around in the middle of the night, lady. Hey, look, I can't help you. All I can do is get you to the nearest station, okay? One with the bird scene. Are you birdie? Spider? Spider was... What's that mean, spider? I don't know how to explain that. I mean, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, it's just the same thing day in and day out. I really feel like no matter how hard I try, Nothing's gonna happen. Keep the calls short. The longer you speak, the more money we lose. We lose money, we lose the amount of workers we have. Worker means you. I don't want to see all loosey-goosey with the clients. They are not your friends, they're your paycheck. I just, I feel like there's something missing. Have you ever just wanted to be someone else? With my job, I'm someone new every night. Last night, I was a nurse, a French maid, and a German housekeeper. There's a difference? There's a difference. Either way, you mentioned wanting to become someone else. Maybe it's time you try it. Okay. That's a great idea. How about um, I just call up Angelina Jolie or, I don't know, Jennifer Lopez and see if they want to trade lives for a day. I'm serious. That right there is what scares me, the fact that you're serious. Look, do you want me to help you or not? Do I have much of a choice? Doesn't matter, because I am going to help you, whether you like it or not. Meet me in one hour. Okay. So this is just up your alley, man. Yeah? You're going to like it. Let's see. We have to do this gig. You took these pictures? I acquired them. <laughs> yeah? like it a lot. You like it a lot, and it's gonna be a big fish. So you got a driver for this? We need someone we can trust. I got a driver. Who, Jackie D's crazy ass? <laughs> Never again. Who we got? Man, you gonna serenade me to death? Lucas fucking Parker. Long time, man. I'll say. You weren't so great last time I saw you. It's my retired look. I've earned it. Yeah, you know I should have fucking clocked you with that. I got a doorbell, you know that, right? Yeah, well, with a shitty lock. Living upstate has made you uh, soft. You got any pastrami? Man. Look, I was gonna get you one, but you don't have anything. Oh. What's up, man? Been back for three months and you can't stop by? I mean, I gotta find out that you're in town through our aunt? I'm busy, you know? Yeah. Hey, man, I know how it is. But I forgive you. Whatever. So, uh, what's all this retirement stuff about? I had a big one. Woo! I'm leaving this town, baby. Starting over. I didn't think there was any score big enough for you. Oh, hell yeah, this one was. You know, I hooked up with Biggie. Yeah, you used to be his boy. You know how he can get. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'm glad you're getting out before it catches up to you. How's Billy doing? Oh, man, you know what? That's funny. I was getting ready to mention him. I spoke to him on the way over here. Yeah, how's he doing? Is yeah, he surviving? He's doing good, man. You'd be surprised. He's come a long way from uh, picking old ladies' purses. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. he's starting to do his own thing. Uh, actually, he's got a thing coming up tonight. His own thing? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, got his own thing, and uh, he's got a couple of guys working with him. He's building his own crew now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's working with Biggie. <sighs> See, now, why would he do a stupid thing like hook up with Biggie? Because we got to eat. Not everybody got to take it out of here like you did. Yeah, well, look where I am now. Well, right, you'll be up on your feet in no time. Hey, uh, like, what are you doing for cash nowadays? Fuck you, Lucas. What? 
Don't fucking look at me with that. And I'm not up to anything. Look, because that's the same fucking look you gave me the first time you offered me a job. I did? Really? <laughs> All right, man. I'm sorry, man. You got me, man. My bad. So? Look, man. Look, it's, it's a small job. Five guys max. That's it. Five guys? Yeah. One guy is a small job. Five guys is a 10-year stretch. No, I mean, I get that, but look, it's for Billy. The guy who used to run his mouth off and I'd have to beat guys up for him? Look, he's not the same guy. Things have changed since you left. Billy's like a, like a mastermind. A mastermind? Yeah. yeah, no, I'm definitely not doing it. And he shouldn't be doing it either. Look, if you guys want to get back together like old times, we can go out to the bars, pick up some girls, you know, but that high shit, that got old for me a long time ago. Yeah, well, you know what, man? I've looked in your refrigerator and that's some sad shit. Ramen noodle soup? I mean, the shit is not even in a can. Look, man, just do this one small job and then you can buy fucking all the cans you fucking want. Lucky, I didn't just spend the past few years slaving away to come back and end up in jail over some stupid shit. Look, it's not even about all of that. What's it about? It's about Fred Potterfield. Who the fuck is Fred Potterfield? Fred Potterfield is a man that lives in a modest home, but not necessarily modest money. Old as fuck. I mean, this dude doesn't even trust anybody. He doesn't even trust the bank with his money. The problem is he doesn't trust anybody. He's got surveillance cameras, silent alarms, the works. Here's the kicker. His wife is dead. But before his wife died, he used to buy her jewelry. Tons and tons of jewelry. Now, I'm not talking about that Kmart blue light special bullshit. I mean, I'm talking about shit that has only been touched by indigenous South African kids shit. Look, it's a two-man job. I mean, a two-man team. Come into the top, come into the bottom basement. That's it, you're in and out, split the profits. It's like Christmas. And the good thing, you don't even have to go in. All you have to do is drive. Just drive, no lifting, no sweeping, just drive. You're the fastest driver in the city. You're faster. I'm better. But like I said, I'm retired. What about Jackie D? I just did a job with Jackie D, he's moving on. Look, man, it'll be like a reunion. After the heist, we can go out to a club, we can hang out with some bitches, man. I've got everything hooked up. Bag. Hey, what else would I carry with me all the time? That's my retirement fund. Someone's gonna fucking shoot you for that. <sighs> Look, we're gonna have a meeting at six, go over everything. Okay? Just call me before that. I know you're gonna say yes, just. Well, once you get your grandmother librarian dress off, you'll actually look like a real girl. I like this dress. Because it keeps people out. Yeah, sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes. Look, I'm pulling out. I don't know how you convinced me to do this to begin with. Because we're trying to stop your slow and steady decline into becoming the old pigeon lady. I'm not becoming the old pigeon lady. Then why do you feed the birds at the park all the time? That bench is supposed to be reserved for the Golden Girls. I'm just not comfortable doing this. That's the point. Look, by the time you get in tomorrow, you are going to be walking on sunshine. <gasps> this is it. This is it. This is the dress for you. Are you paying attention? This is going to make you look amazing. I knew it. This is the one. I knew I had an eye for fashion. All we have to find is some accessories and you're gonna be the sexiest girl there. That is so good. This is going to break you out of your shell. That'll be four forty one fifty. For that? That's what my sense is. That's robbery. I I I don't know. See, this is what I'm talking about. If we don't get you out soon, you're going to become the old crazy pigeon lady. Keep the change. As soon as you lose, bye bye, Birdie.
not letting you off the hook that easily. But I did have to make my grand exit. Did you see that guy in there? God, I was dress hunting. The only thing I saw was silk. Why, was it hot? No, I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I just, there's something about him. Maybe you should have gotten his number. I already humili humiliated myself already. I'm sure he didn't even notice. You got your credit card. No, uh, I might have more luck with that. Thanks. All right, guys, come on. <laughs> We're gonna be five guys, one car. I know, I know. We don't have two cars, we, don't, we wanna keep it low key. So we got one car, we got six minutes. Six minutes till the backup generator is gonna come up again, okay? Any questions? It, is there any pets? Pets? Pets, you know, dogs, cats, birds, pets. Uh, Does a guy have any pets? Okay, as of now, I don't know, I can find out. Within an hour, okay? Cool. Greg? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You got this guy talking about pets. Yeah, Doesn't they just want to like ask you questions, really, you know? Uh, covered all your bases here. We can do this. We've done jobs within three, what, four minutes last time, right? This is possible. It's just to show you how professional we are, all right? Six minutes, that's all. You're going to be in the car for six minutes by yourself, and then we get back and we're out of there. Well, what are you doing here? Well, things didn't work out up north, so I came back home. What happens? It shouldn't have. And who got you into this? It was fucking lucky, wasn't it? Lucky said he wanted to spread some money around. And I heard you was retired, too. And who the fuck asked you? Look, I just thought that, you know, if I could... You just can't get your hand out of the fucking cookie jar. That's it, right? You know, I said you guys were going to give me a heart attack and you come back to finish the fucking job, right? Come here, you stupid fuck, Good to see you. You doing all right? You know, it fucking pisses me off when I'm so happy to see you. Why don't you buy me a drink? I'll buy you a drink. Hey, old man, I got him. Hey, old man. You got one more fucking old man in you before I rip your throat out of your head. So you could be Pulp Fiction, or you could be Blue Sapphire, or you could be the sexiest My Little Pony. <laughs> Julian, are you serious? Yes! Oh wait, oh my god, oh my god, check these out. What the hell are those? Let's just say the client likes green eyes. Can you not look so gloomy? I'm just worried, but that's it. Yeah, no, that's, that's it. just it. Tonight is the night you're supposed to let that shit go. Just have fun. Can you do that? For one night? And you're 100% you're certain that all I have to do is just show up, look pretty, chit-chat a little bit, and then I can leave, right? Of course you can leave. You need to show up, chat, and have fun. That's the whole point. And yes, don't worry. I'm not a whore. I'm a call girl. We just make the party more fun. So what do you say? Okay, fine. Good. Because trust me, tonight is going to be a night that you never forget. <laughs> Thank you.
going on a heist or you joining a blues band? Saving his eyes for the job. Yeah, I'm saving my ears too, so shut the fuck up. Excuse me. Hey, lady. Hey, miss. You okay? Hey. Can you hear me? Hey, hey. Are you okay? Tagged? Yeah, no shit. Dude, what the fuck happened to our window, Billy? We're supposed to have a window. Same thing that happened to my arm. We got ambushed. I'm talking about the alarm. One thing I know, I'm moving through the house looking for the loot. Next thing I'm standing in the middle of a bright ass room with my dick in my hand, the fucking alarm blaring in my ear. I don't know, he might have had a backup generator or something. It should have shown up on my research. Yeah, research my ass. Who the fuck was in that black car? Could be people trying to bump us off. It happens. Alright, they weren't after the money, they were after us. How are you so sure about that? 
They knew what they were doing. They were after us, not the fucking loot. And more importantly, they knew we were alone in the dark with no witnesses. This was an ambush. Jeez, what are you guys fucking stupid? Where's Lucky? I've been calling him ever since this shit hit the fan. Look, Lucky told us that when Heat comes down, he's gonna bail, right? So let's just lay down for a couple of days and wait till he contacts us. Until then, just, just, just watch your backs is all. All right, either way, we gotta ditch this car and get the fuck out of here. We'll figure out the rest later. Birdie. Birdie, you all right? Where am I? It's a, relax. It's all right. You're safe now. It's all over. What's all over? Who are you? Who are you? Am, am I being kidnapped? What? No. I'm, I'm uh, taking you to a hospital. A hospital? Why? What's... Am I badly hurt? What's wrong? They, you, don't you remember? I, I don't know what the hell is going on, okay? I'm drenched. I, I'm, I, I'm wet. Why, why am I wet? That's kind of the million dollar question. You're the guy from that department store. Greg. Right. What happened tonight? What exactly happened? I, I can't fill in the blanks for you, but uh, I just came in when those guys in the black car started shooting at us. <laughs> what? Please, just take me home. Take me home now. I, I live in Boyle Heights. How far are we? It's about 30 minutes away. Okay. I don't remember. And it's like most of the night is missing. Missing? Someone must have slipped you something. Do you think that you were raped? We gotta get you to No, it was nothing like that. How can you be sure? It's like I blinked out after. After what? I don't know. The next thing I remember is Greg. And we're in the car driving and he's telling me people were shooting at us. What? <sighs> yeah, that's what I said. Who the fuck is Greg? And what do you what do you mean people were shooting at you? Remember the guy at the department store? Oh. Mr. Sexy Bottom? Yeah. Him. He said he found me wandering down the road, half naked and halfway out of my mind. Sammy. I am so sorry. No, I am so sorry. This is all my fault. I mean, if I knew it was dangerous, I, I never would have let you go in there. I know, I know. I'm staying here with you. I think it's better if I'm left alone a little bit. I just, yeah, yeah. I just I need to be alone for a little bit. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
I'm gonna go talk to the agency, okay? And see what they can come up with. Gosh. Who knows? I'll come check on you later, okay? Greg said he might stop by too. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's good that despite all this, you can still get your groove on. Julie. Just make sure he buys you dinner first, okay? Uh, it's not like that. He's just... It doesn't just... matter, Sammy. It's okay. Just get out of here. Get some food. I'll do my best. You just take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Great. And after dinner, give him some. <laughs> It'll brighten your day. Faces of the guys that are after you. Do you remember any of that? Kind of. Kind of. I wasn't wearing my glasses. I have a hard time seeing without them, so. You know, you said something that night that uh, stood out to me. You said the word spider. Does that mean anything to you, spider? I think I remember someone wearing something that looked like a spider. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe it was my delirium. Mm. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I remember how I got wet. Yeah, how? I was in the shower. I mean, that's all I remember, so I, I was in the shower. I got wet. That's it? Oh, yeah, like I said. I okay, well, hey, at least it's something, right? Yeah. All right. Now I got a serious question for you. Total personal, so brace yourself. What in the world were you doing with what looked like a quart of birdseed in your purse the other day? <laughs> <laughs> You really know how to ask the tough ones, don't you? Hey, I told you, I can cut deep. Me and Oprah, baby. That's a little bit of a longer story than you think. So you don't get like pecked to death on your way to work or nothing like that? No, not exactly. So what is it exactly that you do? I work with my hands, you know, like Mr. Fix-It type stuff. People just call you up and you Switch in like Superman or something? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good way of looking at it. Oh, I think so. How else would you look at it? Uh, glorified unemployed? <laughs> nah, I mean, it's not I'm joking. It's all right. I mean, you know, it's just, it's not my passion, that's all. What is your passion? All right. Music. I want to make music. Music? Oh. What kind of music? That's a harder question to answer than you think. Well, if you ask me, I think that's kind of neat. Neat? <laughs> okay. Well, what about you? What do you do? I work in a customer service. Telephone customer service. Do you like it? You hate it. I can tell you, you, you hate it. <laughs> well, like is definitely a strong word to use. Do I like the benefits and steady job and a paycheck every two weeks? Yeah, of course. But do I like the micromanaging and customers that act like little kids when they can't get their way or they're told they have to have their veggies before their dessert? I can't exactly say I like that part too much. Sounds more like wrangling cats than service, you know? <laughs> yeah, 
Well, it's honestly not that bad. So why do you hate it then? How do you mean? I don't know. I can just... I'm good at reading people, you know? It's like the other day when I saw you in the department store. It was like... I don't know. Just a feeling I couldn't shake, you know? Dang it, girl. Answer your phone. I checked into what happened that night. No one is talking, but they get all weird when they mention it. Something's not right. I'm getting a really bad feeling. Can you come over tonight? It doesn't feel safe. with you people breaking into my apartment? Well, if you didn't have such shitty fucking locks, that wouldn't be a problem, now would it? And you're out of pastrami. Yeah, I know. You're not gonna make me one? And you don't know your way around your own kitchen? <sighs> so, I did a little checking around, you know? Yeah? And you know how it is. Nobody knows nothing. But there's one name that keeps coming up. Yeah? Biggie. Christ, how is he still alive? Because if anybody tries to get to him, they gotta contend with me. I may be retired, but nobody's got the balls to go toe to toe with me. And you're still protecting him, why? I do the same for you. What's different? Why, because you took a vacation? <laughs> you know, you make it sound like he's the devil. I remember when you guys were all tight. Anaheim. Anaheim? Jesus Christ, Greg, really? For real? He burnt us, Willie. He burnt us bad. People died just so he could get ahead. Not to mention Jamie A. You protected him for years. He was your boss. You retire, Biggie takes over. Two weeks later, he ends up dead. Shot in his office. You think that's a coincidence? The kid was new. And there was a lot of people out after Jamie. Biggie just dropped the ball. That's all there is to it. It's not what I heard. I heard Biggie shot him in the middle of a conversation. Not even an argument. He just waited for Jamie to let his guard down. He wouldn't do that. Look, I know you want to believe that. Biggie, he's not the same kid that Billy and I used to roll with. He's got dirt on his hands. A clean hands don't put food on the table in this city. You know, that's really not the question here. The question here is, what is a fucking musician doing boosting houses? I thought, you know, I could talk Billy out of it if I came along. By driving the car? I just, I thought maybe if I could, came along, I could talk to him, get a second to... You shouldn't have been there in the first place. Now look at the shit you're in. What happened upstate anyway? Didn't work out like I thought it would. You know... I know you're not planning on pulling jobs for the rest of your life. So, what exactly are you planning on doing? Still figuring it out. You know, when I was your age, I was already married. I had a nice girlfriend. I had a couple of kids. I had a good profession boost in jewelry. I mean, you're 30 years old and you're still trying to put the pieces together. There could be something wrong with you. No offense, but uh, things have changed a lot since you were my age. Well, maybe there's something wrong with the times. Listen, kid, if you get a chance to get out of here, you take it. You don't let anybody hold you back next time, okay? And you don't have enough food in your refrigerator for a full conversation. I just want you as far away from this bullshit as you can go. Yeah, I know. Of course you do. You're a good kid. It's not your fault you were brought up in this fucking city. Oh, you finally decided to knock, huh? Would you get lost on the way out, Willie? She's dead. What? She wanted to 
hook and I just saw her feet okay, rise okay, above. Okay. She wasn't talking. I went over there and come sit down. The girl you saw me with at the department store, I, I just saw her a few hours ago. She wanted to talk, and I went over and I went inside, and everything looked thrown around. It was it was a mess. That's when I saw her. She was she was all bruised and, and broken and. Didn't even recognize her. They didn't. Even, they didn't even take anything. They just. I kept telling. I kept telling her that. That it, what she was doing was gonna catch up with her eventually. But I meant some kind of STD or. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what do you mean catch up to her? What are you talking about? Juliet was a call girl. She was talking about some big client that had a lot of money, and I, I guess he came over. Okay, look, um, what did the police say? I don't know. I left. Why did you leave? Never mind that. That's not important right now. What's important is that you're all right, okay? It's my fault. That night you found me, Juliet, Juliet had told me that she thought if I went out and remembered to have fun, so I, I went out as her. I was supposed to be her that night. She said that it wasn't going to be anything with sex or anything like that. I was just going to go to the party and flirt and be pretty. That's it. I was supposed to be her. And now, now she's dead. They came after her and they, they thought she was mean. And they're gonna come after me. Hey, no, no, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Yeah, Greg, what are you gonna do about it? Okay, well, first of all, we're gonna figure out who it is. Okay, is there anything that you can remember about the place that you were at? A doorknob, a, a mailbox, no. anything? I I still have this. I wrote down the address to the party. You're sure that this is it? Yeah. You, you're positive. Why? What, what's going on? Okay, look. I gotta go take care of something. Alright? probably not safe for you to go back to your house tonight, so you're going to stay here. Okay, but I have to step out right now. Right? No, you stay I, here, I I'll wanna... be back in a few hours. I, I, I don't want to be left alone. I know, but you're not going to be alone for that long, okay? I have to go. Hey, Billy, it's Greg. Wake up. we got a big fucking problem, man.
Hey, it's me. Yeah, I was right. They fucking killed him. They killed him and they made him disappear. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's what it seems like to me. Look, uh, I can't go into that right now. I gotta go take care of something. Watch your ass. It might be after us. <laughs> hey, we have to get you a gun, man. The second I work out with a flashlight. <laughs> yeah, then I can just shoot you. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's pretty sad. Yeah, whatever. All right. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, you wanted to meet. Let's talk. We need to talk. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, uh, let's get out of here. You said you wanted to talk. No, no, let's go get some coffee or something. Coffee shop? We can talk here. I don't have anything to eat. Okay. Oh. Hello. No wonder you were in such a hurry, huh? Who's this? Just a friend. Oh. Well, I'm Greg's other friend. I'm Billy. You know, not friends like you are, probably. Uh, so. <laughs> okay. It's nice to meet you, Billy. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Bye. Uh, not a fucking word. <laughs> nice. So what's up with the girl? Huh? Nothing. She just spent the night. <laughs> That's bullshit, man. I saw the way you two looked at each other. What's up, huh? You're not gonna tell me who she is? Nope. No? I have to see for myself. Where'd you get that? Ooh. Notary public. Fancy stuff. Samantha Flores. Oh. Five foot one, 110 pounds. That's awesome, man. It's like perfect bouncing weight. You're fucking Gregory! Up in my head, Gregory! You know? Gregory! <laughs> <laughs> So she lives in Boyle Heights? It's perfect, man. It's like just around the corner. Very convenient, man. Very convenient. Yep. Are you gonna ride the bike to her place or what? I don't know, Billy. I don't trust them. You don't you don't trust who? Mikey and John. I mean, where'd you find those guys anyway? Don't start on them. They're my guys, okay? They had my back all those years when you were not here. Alright, I'm just saying, they gave me a bad feeling. This whole thing is giving me a bad feeling, okay? Let's just deal with this. So, where are we going anyway? Jackie Deeds. Jackie D? He's just a driver. No, he's the driver. Somebody chased me down a dark, winding road at almost 100 miles an hour. The only person that could do that is Jackie. We find Jackie, we can start getting some answers. Okay, okay. I'm going in first. I can handle it. You can hand... When's the last time you even held a gun? And even when you did, you never shot anybody. And do you have? I'm not letting you go in first. You need backup, man. I can call my guys. <laughs> what, who, Mikey and John? Yeah. No, look, 
Our objective is to get in there and get some answers from this guy, not to beat him to a pulp. But you're not getting in first. So you just want to kick in the door, John Rambo style? Should knock on the door and have a decent conversation about this. Stay here, man. He drew on me, man. Why the hell are you on the ground? That's my fucking. Fuck you, man. You better get out of here. Let's see. Wanna get his gun? No. Come on. seen a ghost. What's going on? We got a problem, man. We have to talk. Greg is gonna get us killed. What the hell are you talking about? I just have this weird feeling, dude. It's been a lot of stuff happening. Like clockwork. Figure you're running late, so. What was that about? I'll tell you later. Things are getting out of hand, man. Yeah, no shit. Greg is targeting Biggie. What do you mean Greg's targeting Biggie? Greg and I. Huh? Walk into Jockster's. Do you remember Toki? Yeah. Biggie's drug mule? Shh. Fucking voice now, okay? But you know him, right? Yeah, I know Toki. So check this out. Greg and I go to Jockster's. Greg shakes down Toki, takes Biggie's drugs from him. 
And then he tells him to tell Biggie that if he wants his stuff back, he has to come and get him. What the fuck would he do that for? Greg told me, oh, it had something to do with, with Toki's tattoo. You know that big tattoo, yeah, the yeah, spider yeah, yeah, tattoo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what yeah. does that have to do with anything? I have no idea. So I think Greg is holding something close to his chest that he's not telling me about. That's driving me nuts. I know the feeling. But I feel like I'm getting tails. I'm telling you, I can feel the rope getting tighter. Yeah. And now to make things more interesting, well, guess what? This uh, morning, I walk over to Greg's place, you know, and he tells me about, you know, Lucky. And uh, I see this woman there that I've never seen before. Woman, who the hell is she? I don't know, but you just bought her a cup of coffee. Well, that's something to think about, huh? I'm sure you're aware your attendance these past few days has been atrocious. Yes, ma'am. I've had some issues, but um, I've got them worked out now. I'm glad to hear it. I'd hate to add unemployment to your list of problems. Just make sure your call times are shorter. and I would like to have a reunion. Hey, 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 hey. I believe you got something on mine. The old man likes you so much. That should have been a bullet to your head. What, you mean like the same way you popped Lucky? Is that you trying to get a confession? Wow. Nice to know after all these years, your balls haven't shrunk any. <laughs> so you wanted to see me? Yeah. You got me. Now, why am I here? I don't want to be looking over my shoulder my whole life. I want to settle this. Well, well, I can't say I had anything to do with anything. But I do like this settling things bit. Well, what do you think? Your pop Lucky. Lucky fucked me over. You should remember why he was called Lucky. He's got a lot of enemies, Greggy. Yeah, but not like you. That's right. Not like me. So, uh, if it wasn't you, then who else would it have been? Sorry, wait, yo. Is that you trying to get me to say something? I mean, I don't get it. What is it? You wouldn't be here if you didn't want something. Right? You know me too well. I'm here because you owe me a rather large sum of money. What the fuck are you talking about? That bag Lucky lifted, large part of that money belongs to me. That's between you and Lucky. Lucky owes me. You're Lucky's boy, right? I mean, you owe me. Now I want it back with interest. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah. If I saw your fridge, you're going to redo a safe job. How the Your fuck do you know about... fuck ups. You owe me that. <laughs> Motherfucker. We were working for you. That's right. 
You working for me now. Yeah, and what if I say no? I want that money at the end of the week. What about Billy? What about Billy? We do this job and he's out. He's done. There's people out there trying to kill you. Do you understand? You don't have any leverage. Now take my advice, a friendly advice. What happened to you, man? I woke up. Maybe you should look into it. I like to nap. Whatever, man. It's a deal? I'm not gonna do it. You should stop trying to play hard ass. Because we both know you're not. Oh, by the way, bought you pastrami. Just say. So let me understand this. You want us to rob the same place we just got ambushed. Are you out of your ever fucking loving mind? Hey, even I have to admit. Going to Mr. OCD security's place in the middle of the night just with you, that's stupid. Well, you don't have a lot of fucking options, do you, Billy? Okay? Besides, you guys said, this is a fucking pushover job. As long as no one tries to kill us, we're gonna be okay. That's a pretty big what if. Yeah. Well, it's a what if that we would have to deal with anyway, right? Yeah. Well, as long as you don't leave me in the dark, I guess I'm fine with it. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that too much. Why is that? We're gonna rob them in broad daylight. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> That's not gonna work, man. Broad daylight? What, what the fuck? Look, it's the only way that we can make sure no one's trying to ambush us. Look, let me talk to Biggie. Maybe Biggie will do us a solid on this. Yeah. yeah. Really, no offense, but you know better than I do. Biggie's not in the favor business. All right, man. Hey, you wanna heist a house for brunch? I call John and Mikey and the rest of my crew, man. No, we can pull this no, off. No. No one else. Hey, I know I'm repeating myself here, but we need backup. Craig. Craig. I'm getting too old for this fucking showdown shit. There's not gonna be a showdown. All right, we're gonna do this smart. Two cars. You take the surveillance. Willie, you take the safe. You guys are gonna be in and out before this guy gets back. Okay? It's broad daylight. I'm gonna have the opportunity to survey the entire area. At the first sight of any trouble, we split. So, now you're talking two cars. That's right. Well, I'm filling the second one with my old crew because I'm not going in there and why they're my thumb up my ass and my handful of fucking jewelry. Yeah, hey, jewelry, man. There's a lot of valuable shit besides cash we need to carry. We need fucking bags, we need hey, all- Hey, Billy. Yeah. Are you fucking paying attention? This I, is our one get out of death free car. All right. Okay? Let's not fuck it up by trying to get some jewelry. I'd rather stay off the bottom of the Pacific. All right. I don't swim, dude. So, I figure since he f he's forcing us to do this job, you know, if, if something happens, we can give him a call, right? And he'll send over the cavalry. Right? Willie. You can't reach Peggy during the heist. But what if it's an emergency? Look, you got fuck all, okay? Biggie's not gonna pick up the phone in the middle of a heist. Okay, he sits in his office, he has a bottle of wine, he waits for the heat to blow over. You got jack shit. Well, ain't this a fine fucking plate of bullshit? Yeah, well, whatever it is, it's our only option, so we better get cracking. What are you doing here this time of night? Look, I have a lot of stuff going on right now. I don't want to get you caught up in it, so let's just... We've been coming to the same water and hole for months now. Practically family. I just had one of the best nights of my life tonight. That's a good thing. And after it was over, I had a momentary lapse in memory, and 
I tried to call my friend Juliet to tell her about it. Juliet, the uh, one with the pants? Yeah. She's dead. Um, I'm sorry. How, uh, how are you taking it? As one would expect. And I know who killed her. What did the police say? There's nothing to talk about this. You just said you know who killed her. It's... It's locked in my memory. I don't remember anything from that night. So I just sit here and I jot and jot and jot trying to remember anything. But nothing comes up. It's just... It's like it belongs to a crazy person or something. Can I look at it? Why, there's no point. Let me see it. Mine? What is a uh, spider? That's the problem. I don't know. Everything just comes up in flashes. Black hat, green bag, blood. What's your fault? Juliet was always there for me when I needed someone. And the one time she needed me, I wasn't there. And if I could just remember this one thing in my life, she would probably still be alive right now. Sam, don't do that. I know. I gotta go, I'm sorry. <laughs> So if you lost your memory, what uh, what's the last thing you remember? Juliet hugging me. I, I don't want to talk about it, I'm sorry. It's all right. You said tonight was a good night. What made it so special? You ever meet somebody and without saying a word, you felt something? Once. Tell me about them. You don't want to hear about them. I, I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to hear. Come on, tell me. Okay. I'll tell you this one thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he told me how he got this tattoo on his hand, and his friend has one too. Uh -huh. When they were kids, his friend always got picked on a lot. And he would always come in and kick ass and defend him, I guess. <laughs> Sounds like a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> so before you left town, they got the same tattoo. Uh-huh. This is my place. <clears throat> you know what the tattoo meant? What? Brother. Thanks for walking me home. I really appreciate it. Of course. I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry I was a little bit melodramatic tonight. Don't be silly. Like you, you kept me company. Good night, Mike. Good night. Hey, Sam? Sam? each other for a couple months now, but I want you to know that I'm here for you. Thanks, Mike, but it's late. No, wait. Hey, I just want to let you know that I'm lucky to have met you. You're a good person, and I do care. I don't want you to get hurt. Mike, I know you mean well, but I, I don't think it's a good time right now. Then when would be a good time? 
I don't know. Look, I'm not asking for you to fall in love with me or anything, all right? Just asking you to trust me. Can you do that? Can you do that? Okay? No, Mike, I'm far from okay. You looked like you knew the guy was. He was following me, but I, I, I thought I was paranoid. I don't know! Is the guy with the tattoo with you the night you witnessed the murder? Yes, he was the one that saved my life. I never told you anything. Mike, were you following me? No, I wasn't following you. You looked like you're- Don't lie to me! What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. Fucking I- Yes, you do! Sam. Where are you taking me? Somewhere safe. Okay. I need to see Greg. Take me to him. Are you sure you can trust him right now? Right now he's the only one I can trust. Are you okay? Tell me everything that happened. Beginning to end. I remember walking in the house and as soon as I got there, the guy got really frisky. And I just, I got really scared and I pushed him off and he got really angry. The next thing I remember, I'm in the bathroom and there's blood everywhere. And I remember picking up a gun and just shooting over and over again. There's gotta be something else, something you've overlooked. But that's all I remember. I mean, besides the spider and the green bag. That I the bag? What happened to the bag? What'd you do with the bag? What are you talking about? You just said that there was a bag. What'd you do with it? I just told you everything that I can remember, Greg. Why are you talking to me like this? I don't like your tone of voice. Because it doesn't make any sense, what Samantha. Does it make any sense? The whole thing! You, me, the whole fucking thing! Look, I told you everything that I can remember. And you're. For all I know, I could have been raped by that guy. He didn't and rape you. How do you even know that? Because I knew him! Because I knew him. That's how. He wouldn't do that. You knew this entire time. <laughs> no wonder I gave you that address you ran out of there like a bat out of hell. I thought you were trying to help me, Greg. Are you kidding? That's all I've been trying to do. No, I don't want to hear it. <sighs> I don't believe anything that comes out of your mouth at this point. What were you even doing there that night to begin with? If I could explain that. No, and... I don't want to hear it. It'll just be another line of bullshit from you at this point. Were those guys even after me? Birdie, look. My goddamn name is Samantha. You know, maybe if you could step outside of your own self-pity for five seconds, you'd see that not everybody's out to get you. Alright? You know, you're not, not the only one that's lost somebody. 
I mean, I'm hurting here. Fucking. and I, we were stupid. Fun to be big shots, you don't get shit. Trusted the wrong people, listened to this guy, sell us on this job that you know, was supposed to take us to the next level. Bit off more than we could chew. I got shot, a couple of guys didn't even make it back. I moved on after that, but apparently no one else did. Still doing the same stupid shit. I have money for my own job. We can leave here. No, that wouldn't work. Because I was the only one to leave last time. I can't be like that again. Just can't. What happens? We're in it together, okay? I don't want you mixed up in this party. You already broke your promise with that one. <sighs> I don't know what happened with that bag, anyways. Yeah. How tech do you think? Well, it wasn't Biggie. And Jackie's dead, so. You can't have it. I have no idea who's after us. The people that killed Juliet? They had turned her place up like they were looking for something. <clears throat> they had messed my place up too. I don't know. Billy. Hey, Billy, it's me. Hey, look, we don't have to do the job. I know where the money is. Hey, 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 slow down, slow down. Where, where are you? I can't explain that right now. Look, I need you to get down to the hotel on Fifth and Grant. Okay, Samantha's here. I need you to look after her. I'll explain later. Greg, let's go. Where are you going? I'm going to get that bag.
Craig. I know what I know what the symbol was. I get more of my memory back. The, the spider symbol. It was a tattoo. It was it was a Chinese symbol just like yours. Billy was the one that was at the house that night. Billy is the one that killed your friend. Craig, easy. Hey, Sammy. How you doing? Greg sent me to check up on you. He was talking like a madman. Hey, you know where he is? Huh? Yeah, it's just like Greg's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Uh. Yeah, it's like him. Um... Yeah, tell me about it. You should have seen him when we were kids. What's up with you? Why are you so nervous? Everything okay? Yeah. So you remember? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know? Does he know? I just need to know where he is. Where is he? Hey. Breathe. Come on. Breathe. Hey, hey. Look at me. Look at me. Don't make this harder on yourself, okay? Like what you did with Juliet? They just got carried away, okay? That's what happened. That doesn't mean it has to happen to you. All I need to know is where to find him. Tell me the place and save yourself. Just save yourself. Save yourself. Like you. <laughs> you don't know what you're fucking talking about! You don't know what you're fucking talking about!
It was Billy. I mean, it was Sean on the phone, but it was Billy. Who would have thought that prick had it in him? You got the money? If you got the money, maybe I could spread it around. I could, you know, talk to a couple people. No. The only reason why she's alive right now is because I have that bag. They need me. So what are you gonna do? Kill Biggie, wipe our debts clean? Don't even fucking joke like that. Well, then I have to do the next best thing. I gotta get her back. And you expect me to believe that you're just going to let Billy get away with all this? You know, it's a suicide, right? You know he's going to have his best guys over there watching her. Well, you seem to have your mind made up, so why am I here? Because I'm going to need a favor. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing.
desperate. I think you should go this far. What is Greg? You should be worried about Greg. You should be worried about yourself. Don't hand me that. Where is he? It's tying up loose ends. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means he's taking care of some shit we should have a long time ago. Put an end to this whole thing. Where are you going? I'll settle something on my own. And you won't let me have that same chance. These are dangerous people. All right, I mean, look what they've done to you already. How do you think this is gonna end? This is enough money to get out of this shitty city and never look back. Take it. I'm not leaving. I'm sticking through this till the end. The reality is, I don't know if any one of us is going to make it out of this alive. You don't think I know that already? The past few days have been an absolute nightmare, but I've never felt more alive than I have now. And Greg is part of that reason. And not you or anybody is going to take that from me. I'm going with you. What is this? Where's Greg? Couldn't make it. Filling in. Yeah? Well then I hope we're not gonna run into trouble like last time. Someone got Samantha. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Was it John? Yeah, suppose since they didn't get in on the action, they're gonna try to take it all. What the hell is that? It wasn't John, Billy. It was you. What the fuck are you talking about? Before you grabbed her from her hotel, she made one last call. She remembered who killed Lucky. All right, you got me, Mike. Does Greg know? Yeah, he knows. And he doesn't show up? What the fuck happened to you, Billy? My back was against the wall. I did what I had to do. You had to kill Lucky? So you fuck over your friends for some fucking money. So fuck you. I'm out. No, you're not. You already have the money. This just covers what I owe Biggie. It's not enough. Take the bag. Get the score. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm going home. I can't let you do that, Mike. We need three guys to finish the job, not two. I need you on this. No, you don't. You drive, we'll let the girl go, okay? I'll get my money and we'll all go our separate ways. And if I don't? Well, guess what? You gonna shoot me in the back, Billy? I need that money, Mike. I can't help you. Well, then I'm sorry it has right, to end. Relax. Put 
your gun down. Well, what, you gonna shoot me? It wouldn't be the first time. It's over, Billy. <coughs> what are you doing? I can't. Samantha, it's over. Let's go. How do you know he won't come back and kill us? Mikey, tell her Shut I Shut the fuck up! Julian! Look what he did to me! Sam, if you do this, there's no going back. Alright, we're scum. Our hands are already dirty, but you just have a chance to get the fuck out of this place. Sam. Sam. Oh. Aren't you risky? So I take it you don't have my money. Take it no one heard a thing when you come in. <laughs> you got everyone on the other side of town chasing their own ass. Nice. <laughs> Maybe you're not that rusty after all. <laughs> What's that? A revenge. So what, I'm supposed to believe now that uh, that stick-up kid turned rocker turned into a trigger man? Is that it? So are you gonna nurse that gun? Or shoot it. I thought so. But, 
tell you what. Call me when you have something to say. Stop wasting my time. Sit down. My man. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Uh, how long it took you in the hallway figuring you ain't got balls to do that? Hmm? How's your stomach? See, most people. They throw up the first time. No, I didn't. Special. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I don't get you, man. I'd even kill Lucky. Mm. Yet here we are. Tell me something. Is there a single person in this town that you haven't poisoned in one way or another? It wasn't my fucking fault that Bill didn't pay his bills. He knew the rules. Right, 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 right. He did know the rules. You're just a businessman. Just a businessman, you're right. You're innocent of all of this. Killing Lucky? Goddamn right. You are not in control here. I did put the rope around their neck. No, you just gave them enough rope to hang themselves with, right? So that it, huh? That's the reason why you're bleeding all over in my fucking expensive furniture? Is that it? <laughs> you know, it's, it's like a seed in my mind, you know? At first, I was just happy to be out, to be alive. But, you know, it just kept nagging at me, these questions, question after question. Why, why? Is it better to kill me? Is that it? Is that it? If I let you go, then I'd have to look over my shoulder for the rest of my life. And Sam, that girl, she doesn't deserve that. I've already done enough damage. <laughs> but I could let you go. You must be desperate. Besides, then I'd still have to live with the fact that I know that you're still out there somewhere feeding off of the souls of desperate people. People like Lucky. Like Billy. Like me. No. This ends today. Because this whole time I've been asking myself the wrong question. This whole time I've been asking myself why when I should. <laughs> Should have asked myself who. It was always you. the only way. Greg, if you ever come back here again, I have to kill you.
When I was a little girl, my grandmother used to take me to the beach almost every weekend. And she would feed the pigeons. And I remember I would always close my eyes and run through them as hard as I could, as fast as I could. I always thought if I, if I tried hard enough, I could fly away with them.